We have something in common, but there's also one big difference between us. I eventually got tired of roaming the world. Were you a pilgrim? I know, a female pilgrim. There weren't many of us, but that's why I was so good at it. No one would recognize me as a pilgrim. Some men thought that as a woman, it would be easier to deceive me, rob me. My fast reflexes and sharp dagger taught them otherwise. How'd you end up in Villador? I got this goddamn job. A guy wanted me to deliver a package to Villador. To some woman who was well known before the outbreak. Apparently she played video games professionally. Weird job, eh? Anyway, the guy paid me a lot, but on one condition. I couldn't know what was in the package. And that was my big mistake. I carried this damn thing for 50 kilometers, and with each step it got heavier. I sneaked into Villador, found this woman, and delivered the package. She opened it in front of me. Turned out, it was a jar, with a human head inside. Whose head? I don't really know. I got the fuck out of there right quick. Is that why you quit the life? Well, I felt that, actually, that I was constantly running away from something. Maybe from myself. This is a big city. Even a pilgrim can belong here. Nobody judges you for what you were before, like they do in the smaller towns. Who you used to be beyond the walls. What you once did. They kept you on the move. You can disappear in the city. That's how I found my place. And what about you, Aiden? Don't you want to stop running? Eh, maybe someday. But first, I have to finish what I started here. I understand. Just remember this. You can't run away from yourself. Good luck, Pilgrim. You the Baba? Some do call me that, yes. I need to find out if this is a poison. Can you help me? It's urgent. You don't need me. Take a swig, and we'll both find out soon enough. I'm serious. A woman's life literally hangs in the balance. Come on, help me, damn it. You fight for this woman. Yet, she is not the one you struggle to find. Hmm. Familiar, and yet... Yes. You must bring me the proper reagents. Reagents? <laughs> There's no time! Can this go faster? Fast as you want to down that bottle, boy. Are you game? Fine. I'll get you reagents. Where? They're scarce. But you might find some in the GRE Field Hospital in the Cathedral. You're back so soon. And what now? More lives to save? And this time I'm interested in your services, personally. Uh, what is it that you do exactly? I concoct and sell everything. From healing elixirs to powerful wards against the infected. Ah, uh, snake oil then. You will address the bubble with respect. Oh, will I? 
still man Corvus. He is, uh, overprotective. Tell me more about your so-called elixirs. By the looks of what's in these jars, someone's been scavenging graveyards. They are talking about my ingredients, both rare and potent. I combine them to create wonders. Some emit a scent that can cause an infected to come running, no matter what lies in its path. Others, pheromones that can cause most infected to flee madly. And still others grant fists of fire that will burn an opponent with each blow. Well, theatrics aside, I'm intrigued. Uh, tell me about your healing elixirs. I sell anything. From salves for the gravest wounds to potions that cure illness and disease. A young man like you might wish to try my virility boosting. Uh, pass. I have my doubts, but I'm willing to try some of these items. I'm sure you'll be delighted. My elixirs are worth every coin. And they're derived from monsters? In part, yes. Some unusual mutations in rare creatures produce hormones with special properties. When I combine them with the right herbs and other compounds, I can create both powerful weapons and healing items. As it happens, I am running out of some key ingredients and could use some help, if you are willing to do some hunting for me. Why don't you send this guy? I am no errand boy. Hosh Garbus, this is why we're running low on ingredients and customers. You keep scaring people away. I'm not scared of monsters. Or your boy here. It's settled then. If you can hunt, I'll buy what you bring me. You stand to profit handsomely. What do you need? First, the brain of the rare demolisher. It contains a special enzyme. But how would you even know about that? The answer to that question might well drive even a man as strong and resilient as you. Stark raving mod. Right. Whatever. Where is it? A demolisher considerably larger than others of its ilk has been sighted in the park. Quite near. Bring me its head and I'll pay you well. One demolisher head. Coming up. Hmm. 
found the creature. The reports were accurate. God, that was one big mother. The specimen will produce a great deal of enzyme. Wait, that does what again? Don't question the Baba. You need only be concerned about your pay. Fair enough. I'm no doctor anyway. Fine then. Here is your compensation. To your next successful hunt. What can I get for you, Baba? I have a very large order to fulfill. The supply division needs a stockpile of medicine. To do this, I need you to trap several infected at the same time. A trap? Not kill? <laughs> How do I do that? Hi. They're our setup, so let me explain. At the locations, you'll find a jury rigged shipping container. All you gotta do is lure the biters into the container. When you got all of them in there, get out before they nail your ass. On your way out, slam the lever, and gravity will do the rest. The doors will drop on either side, trapping the buggers inside. Sounds dangerous. Wait, why am I doing this if you set up the traps? Cause we got bigger fish to fry. And the Bobby here says you're more than capable. Don't worry, we'll be doing our part. If you did your part right, You'll see some gas coming out the top of the trap. That's released when the door shut, sending our little babies into dreamland. If they dream anymore. How am I supposed to harvest samples if they're trapped inside? That's where we come in. Once the critters are trapped, your job's over. We'll come in later, harvest what's needed, and deliver it to the Baba ourselves. All right. I can work with that. Great. This much medicine is gonna save a lot of lives, when a lot of lives need saving. The traps are set up on Lighthouse Island, Eden. Be safe. That's the plan.
Back from trapping the biters. How did it go? The traps are pretty clever. Excellent. They will come in handy when I have large batches of medicine to make. In the meantime, you did well. Here's your compensation. Any new requests? I've just run out of a key ingredient to soothe and repair serious burns. Sounds important. Quite. I need tissue from a bolter, but not any common bolter will do. Fortunately, one that suits my needs was sighted quite nearby. They tend to keep to the roofs, so watch your step. Got it.
Something weird's used. <laughs> Here are the tissue specimens you needed. In such fine condition. As if surgically removed. Eh, skinned plenty of animals during my time as a pilgrim. It shows. And now your well-deserved compensation. Running low on anything? Indeed. But one moment, please. No. Take that salve and rub it on your husband's arms under a full moon. His affliction should subside by the dawn of the second day. Thank you, Baba. Ooh, under a full moon? No offense, but that sounds like fairy tale bullshit. And being out at night is dangerous. Listen now. Hush, Corvus. A closed mind cannot be opened with threats of violence. Hey, it's not closed-minded to be concerned about people's safety. A full moon can be seen through a window. That is sufficient. Now do you want another hunt or not? A rare creature has been spotted. Bring me its spleen and its liver, and only the spleen and liver of this single creature. How will I recognize it? Don't worry. You will most certainly know it when you see it. Oh, and it won't be alone. Oh, <laughs> 
Here are the organs you requested. Are you sure they are from the right creature? Uh, there was no mistake in that monster. But uh, you're the Baba. You tell me if I got it the right one. Yes, I can already tell. You did indeed. I was just curious to know if you'd come across another creature I've heard about. No matter. Here is your reward. I have no more hunts for you right now. You've done very well. And I hope to have more work for you soon. Thanks. So, um, what's with Corvus, anyway? You seem an odd pair. Corvus saved my life. He intervened during a violent robbery. He has been my protector ever since. Hmm. I see. I don't need anything from you right now. I will contact you. I'm trying to find something for you to hunt. I will let you know. Stop by my shop, Eden. I need your help replenishing my yeah. stuff. <laughs> Any new rare monsters lurking out there? Yes, there are. I've gotten reports of a monster prized for the fluid contained in its eyeballs. Ooh, I can already see where this is going. Yes. You must bring me this creature's eyeballs. Take care with them, for they must remain intact until I am ready to use the fluid in a potion. Keep the eyeballs intact. Got it. Uh, by the way, is everything okay between you and Corvus? We're fine. I'm more concerned about you. Rumors of a singularly dangerous monster have reached me. Watch your back as you hunt. Go to the location I've marked. Here are your... You'd do well to remember our arrangement, woman. Not now. The Baba and I are speaking. We'll finish later, Corvus. No need to make the young man wait while we argue. Fine. But take care you heed my words. Mm, problems? None of your business. 
You need not be concerned. All right, as you wish. Here they are. Those eyes you sent me after? In perfect condition, too. You deserve every bit of this reward. What can I get for you, Baba? Your tone grows too familiar. Know your place, boy. Carvath, don't be rude. Your own tone could use some improvement. Do you not remember your place, witch? Must I remind you yet again? All right, what's with you two? Yeah, something's going on, and I want to know what it is. It remains none of your concern. Corvus is right. We should stick to business. And I have another large order to fulfill. That means I'll be trapping, not collecting. Precisely. Go to the GRE Island, and you'll find a large swarm of virals. I need you to catch two creatures in the trap. Two and one. Got it. Supply already set up the trap. And don't get cocky. Them beastlies will surely give you a run for your money. That running's all I know, Baba. How did it go? Two frothing virals, packaged and ready for delivery. That's wonderful. I can make all manner of potions and medications from their live organs. You saved many a life today, Aiden. Villador, what's left of it, is grateful. Oh, it's all in a night's work. What monster guts do you need today? The sweat glands of a rarely seen creature. Rarely seen, but recently seen, I gather. Very recently. It's hard to miss, too, when it comes out at night. With the secretions from those glands, I can make all manner of sense to both attract and repel the infected. But watch out, Aiden. This one only comes out at night. And that's not even half of what might shock you when you encounter it. Intriguing. <laughs> Be back soon.
Here are those sweat glands, and you were right. The hunt was electrifying. Hey, you should have come with me, Corvus. Maybe getting shocked by one of those things would lighten you up. Speak to me that way at your peril. I wouldn't tease Corvus like that. You'd best just take your reward and go. What have you got for me? I have a customer here, with a direct request. My name is Harlan. The Baba has told me about you. About your bravery in procuring rare ingredients. I do what I'm paid to do. Nothing special. Oh, but you're wrong. The Baba, she saves people. And since you help her, that means you save people too. So what do you need? My father. He's... Dying. A blood parasite. The Baba, she says she can help, but she needs some very rare ingredients. Right, so I'll go get them. Like I said, nothing special. But this is very dangerous. Too dangerous. I could not let the Baba ask on my behalf. I, I wouldn't feel right, even to save my own father, if I didn't ask you myself. What's so dangerous about this hunt? Remember the demolisher and the goon you hunted for me some time ago? It turns out there are two more of them in the city. And I need tissue from both of them if I am to save Harlan's father. I am so sorry to ask this of you. It's all right, Harlan. Eden will help. Now, go be with your father. Yes, of course. You're right, Baba. Another pair of mutated infected, huh? Hunt them down, Eden. You will be doing a favor both to Harlan and many other residents by getting rid of those abominations. Leave it to me.
I brought the tissue for Harlan's father. You managed to kill both of them. Good. This will work, won't it? I do hope so, but this is medicine, not magic. We can only do our best and hope it is enough. Wait, not magic? Where'd the witch act go? You'll have to trust me. Just take your money and leave me to my work. Do as the Baba says. I'm trying to find something for you to hunt. I will let you know. Any hunts for me today? Yes. A very rare creature has appeared. I fashion its skin into vessels that hold substances no other material can safely contain. Sign me up. Where do I go? Not just where, but when. It is a nocturnal creature. It will be at the peak of its power and speed. So take great care. I will. Thanks. I found the monster and gave it a hiding, literally. Excellent. I'll be able to make skin vessels capable of holding powerful agents that can be used against the infected. I'm ready for more. Anything you need hunted? I do. Your most dangerous prey yet. The creature I've been telling you about? It's been located. And it has something you need. Indeed. Its hair possesses qualities most rare. Miraculous, even. But that's besides the point now. Remember the GRE island? The one where you trapped the virals for me? It's there. Lurking at night, and Aiden, you can't kill it. 
But can't or shouldn't? Either. Listen to me. There is no fair fight with that creature. It will tear you apart. Your only chance is to lure it into the trap and box it in before it can lay a claw on you. If that happens... Yeah, don't worry. I can handle this thing. I could handle that thing. Aiden, I am sorry I asked that of you. I was worried sick, but thank you. I'll be able to help so many people once Supply brings me the samples. Speaking of which, how's Harlan's father? Any news? As a matter of fact, yes. The parasites have been completely eliminated. That's great to hear. I was worried. As was I. Outcomes like this are not guaranteed, but we are thankful when they happen. Yep. And what do you have for me now? More hunting? Trapping? Actually, there is one more matter to attend to. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, not for me. Uh, for Corvus. He's... He's waiting out in the garden to speak to you. Corvus? Hmm. Wondered where Mr. Tall, Dark, and Surly was lurking? Yes, well, uh, out in the garden. Please, please see him. I, I have a rather complicated potion to formulate right now. If you say so. What's this all about, Corvus? You're friendly all of a sudden. I'm in a good mood. It's time to celebrate. What are we celebrating, exactly? I will tell you if you will drink with me. Yeah, well, I want to know what we're drinking to first. And spoil the surprise? Drink, Aiden. I invite you. Um, sure. I'll knock one back with you. Excellent. Okay, what's this celebration all about? Your hunts are finished. You will leave and never come back. To that, who ye drink. Leaving? Says who? It's not like you're gonna go on hunts for the Baba. I thought that was beneath you. No. You are beneath me, always mocking me, never showing respect. But that will soon all be in the past. Drink. Can't hurt, I guess. Such insolence. Okay, Corvus, you've clearly got something on your mind. What's this celebration really all about? You have been a thorn in my side since you first came here. You are coming between me and the Baba. She grows willful. You threaten all we have. And what exactly do you have? I've been wondering about that. A delicate balance. That is what. We are bound to each other. To the death. You don't act like soulmates to me. Welp, your time is nearly up. I don't know what your problem is, Corvus, but let's drink and forget about it. Yes, drink. 
but perhaps not forget. And now, your surprise. Oh, goody. You will not just be leaving this place, but this world. I will send you to your grave. Uh, finally, a direct threat. It's about time, Corvus. Dog. You think you're a great hunter, eliminating powerful beasts. Powerful, yes, but mindless. How, I wonder, would you fare against one such as me? Ooh, it sounds like you're calling me out. Oh, I am, dog. I will have your head. You know, I'm tired of your shit. I don't want to get caught between you and the Baba. Yeah, I'm out of here. Tell the Baba I said goodbye. You think I would really let you leave? <laughs> Fool! Corvus would be next through that door. Corvus just tried to kill me. Why? Did you know that was gonna happen? Yes. N no. I, I did not control Corvus. I was his prisoner. Hey, what? The robbery I mentioned. He staged it so that I would be obliged to him. Offer him money to protect me. He quickly began demanding more and more payment and threatening me if I tried to leave or have him arrested. I couldn't leave. Too many of my customers depend on me. And he had to stay to ensure I wouldn't turn him in. Ah, uh, you yeah, bound till death. That's what he meant. But what does any of this have to do with me? The haunts made me realize that you could face Corvus and survive. You set me up. I couldn't think of anything else to do. I knew you would prevail. You saved me. I'm indebted to you. You owe me nothing. Perhaps. But please take this. May it serve you well. That's mighty impressive. I know you think I am a charlatan. But I was a pharmacist in the military. My remedies are real. I just cloak them in a bit of mysticism because the old ways appeal to my customers. White lab coats are hardly a comfort to people these days. Yeah, that's true. So thank you. Come back again. I'll keep the shop stocked with whatever you need. Okay then. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Baba. The answer to that question might well drive even a man as strong and resilient as you, stark, raving mud. <laughs> <laughs>